last night was interesting. I have gone camping by myself before, but not backpack camping. So the time that I went camping by myself, I was somewhere, I was at a campground. So there were other people around, so I could blame noise on that. In a campground, of course, you feel perfectly safe. You're not really out in the wilderness. But here, I didn't see anyone on the trail. I didn't see anyone on the top of the mountain. And I'm going to bed, and I'm pretty fine with that. I was comfortable. Um, I was tired, and the sun was almost down, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to sleep so good. But then, as soon as your head hits the pillow, my senses were heightened, I could tell, because I would jump at anything, even with my earplugs in. The wind last night was not constant, so it would just every once in a while it would be like, and it would like hit my head and I'd be like, oh! And then I'd be like, what was that, what was that, what was that, what was that? And take out my earplug, and there's nothing. And I listen, and it's just a good occasional wind. Definitely some stuff you have to face when you go by yourself, at least the first time. And then I was getting frustrated. I couldn't sleep by myself. I'm like, I shouldn't be scared. I shouldn't be scared. I've done this before. I shouldn't be scared. That doesn't help. But I you know at some point I, I saw a lightning flash and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, lightning. Like, not in the, the best spot for if there's a storm. Like, if it rains, everything's going to come pouring into my tent. Like because it's going to roll down this rock next to my tent and into... Oh, man. I think I'm prepared for camping by myself when the weather's perfect and I know there's no chance of thunderstorms and I'm not maybe not somewhere windy, but <laughs> maybe, yeah, the little noises were making me jump last night for sure. So that's something you got to face when you go by yourself, but I did eventually get to sleep. I definitely didn't sleep enough, but no storms, nothing happened, it's a beautiful day this morning, the weather's perfect, and still nobody, I've got this mountain all to myself, which is kind of really nice, even though at night it's kind of scary. My food went untouched, so all good. So backpacking definitely has its potential risks. I got stuck in a almost hailstorm yesterday. My shoes are still soaking wet and I still have to put them on. Um, some of the stuff I had to put back in my bag is still pretty damp. And my water bladder seems to be leaking so the stuff in my bag is damp. My bag already stinks like crazy even though I've already been, I've only been on a few trips. Can't imagine what the AT hikers smell like. There's lots of noises and things that can scare you at night. You could be stuck on top of a mountain and it's thunderstorming, wind, animals, being tired. I'm pretty feeling kind of dehydrated today. Kind of had to rush out of here on the top here because it started getting sunnier and I'm already sweating and I haven't even done anything and I felt lightheaded getting up. So definitely need to drink some more, get some electrolytes in me, get out of the sun. So there's tons of factors. Got to put wet clothes back on. It's not always fun. There's definitely some things you have to face when you choose to do stuff like this. But um, there's also some things I get to see that I never get to see otherwise. Like butterfly just almost landed on my water bottle. And I get to see 360 views, gorgeous waterfalls, um, sunsets, sunrises, amazing cloud formations. For me, it's worth seeing the views. I'm probably less likely to do a trail that's just kind of a trail through nature because I get bored. <laughs> I really like amazing pieces of nature that are majestic and kind of hard to see in a normal everyday environment. Unless, of course, you like live in Colorado or something. There's definitely a lot of things you have to face. And question of the day, what is your favorite part about backpacking? What motivates you to do it in spite of all the things that you might have to confront when going out in nature and facing the elements? All right, today I'm going to go check out the Siler Bald Shelter. I came up from that way yesterday. That points that way. And I'm... I didn't go there yesterday because I was tired and ready to get to the top, but I'm going to go this way today.
way back out. And it's around two o'clock and the thunder has begun again. Not that, that's an airplane. Ready for another downpour. I forgot about this waterfall. Pretty sure it's been raining longer than yesterday. It was getting a little bit annoying and cold and discouraging. But I finally saw someone on the trail. <laughs> ah, been alone for 24 hours and I haven't seen a single soul except for that random tent that I didn't see anyone near. <sighs> Met a uh, don't care. Met don't care on his way to Winding Gap and uh, got to talk to someone for a good bit so that was great really helps to run into people i think to motivate you to keep going i made it my feet are even more pruney than yesterday look at that shit Ew. Six miles in the rain. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't rain like this yesterday. It was nice and refreshing, and then it cleared up, and then I could dry off to go to bed. But glad I'm going home. Stay safe out there. If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later. It was a large spider in my tent. I just got rid of him. I keep my doors shut. I don't know how he got in here, but I feel violated. <laughs> I don't like it.